and we do want to get some predictions now on our main event. We're actually going to get predictions for the last three fights here now. So, Michael, that means in the featherweight division, are you taking Andre Touchy Feely or are you taking Bill Algio? I'm taking my boy out of featherweight Washington, who now resides in Sacramento. My brother from another mother, Touchy Feely. I'm going with Andre. And how's he get it? Yeah, I think he's going to get the job done uh, with a decision. I think it's going to be tooth and nail. It's going to be a stand up affair. I'm looking to see Feely. Uh, display that offensive output. Okay, what about you, Dean? Yeah, this is an important fight for Feely. He's had some, some rough patches, but this is a, he's at a crossroads now, and I think he has the skill set to be better than what his record has shown. I think he gets through this. Like you said, his offensive output is great. I think he gets through this fight and moves forward. You taking Feely or Aldio? <sighs> I'm torn between this one. I hate when I have to pick between friends that I know, but I'm leaning towards Aldio. I'm an East Coast guy. I, I think Aldio's got the tools to win. Um, so does Feely, obviously, but I just think Algio's more of an up, and Feely's kind of on a little bit of a decline. And I could be completely wrong. Just going to put that out there, play, play defense a little bit. But um, I'm leaning towards Algio on this one to get it done with his dynamic striking. All right, co-main event, middleweights, Njoko Kawani versus uh, Rodriguez. This was one of the harder fights for me to pick because Gregory's got a tremendous skill set, world championship level Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and he's out here knocking guys out in the UFC, and you saw that in his fight against Julian Marquez, but I'm going with Chidi. He's, he's been at a higher level for a longer time, and I think he's just found his groove at this stage of his career, so I'm going Chidi and Jaquani. Come on, I look at Gregory Rodriguez. He looks like <laughs> Obama's older brother. <laughs> look at his face. How can you not go with that guy? That guy is RoboCop for a reason. He's going to walk through, he's going to get this fight to the ground and win. Oh, okay, champ. <laughs> this is a tough one, but I, I think and Jukawani is going to get it done. I think Chidi is the guy right now. He's got a really good clinch. And, I mean, Robocop looks like he just wants to stand and bang now. And if he does that, I think it gives a great opportunity. And he gets hit a lot. It gives a great opportunity for a guy like Chidi who packs a lot of power and can use that tie clinch and end the fight. Okay, well, let's talk about our main event in the band and weight division, number four, Corey Sandhagen versus number 10, Song Yadong. Who gets their hand raised? You know, I remember when I first got my first crack at somebody at the top of the heap, and that was against Hori Masvidal, and I had my moments, but I came up short, and I feel like that this is Song Yadong's first attempt to, to challenge somebody in the upper echelon of the division. I think it might be too much too soon for the young man. Uh, I think Corey Sandhagen gets the job done. I do think it goes the distance, though. I think Song will... Will, it's not like he's going to fold for him. I think he's going to fight. He's going to be a good scrap. But I'm taking Sanhagen getting his hand raised. Okay. Yeah, after Sanhagen has been through what he's been through, taking that time off, looking into himself, seeing what he needs in order to get better, I can't see him losing. Sanhagen going to win this one. Yeah. I got to go with Sanhagen on this one. I think the range, the versatility of his striking, and he does such a great job of reading the range. And when he steps in, he commits. The same way he did with TJ Dillashaw when he dropped him a couple times. And uh, that, that X factor that he has of the flying knee, which he seems to catch everybody with. Uh, I'm super excited for this one. I think Sandman's going to go out there and remind the world who he is and why he got to the top five in the, re in the first place. So, it's going to be a fun fight. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.